I get to play uh, Static Shock in that new Michael B. Jordan production. Michael hit me up. But, um... Hi, Marcus. Hey, Lupe. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Doing pretty good. As good as I can in a pandemic. Yeah. Well, that was my first question. How's everything? Um, you know, how was it shooting this show? Because I think he shot under uh, this pandemic, right? This the new uh, season. Yeah, it's been... Um, uh it's definitely it, it's been difficult it's kind of scary going back to work and like oh are you guys gonna infect me let's make sure that we're doing this the right <laughs> way but um we've, we've taken a lot of precautions we're all wearing masks and uh face shields and making sure to stay socially distant and we have zones that we all can't go into certain people can't be in certain places at certain times we can't eat or drink on set um so i'm dying of thirst and starvation and not corona but you know it's the sacrifices we have to make to me Make sure that we have a safe and completely corona free set so um it was it was definitely difficult adjusting and trying to figure everything out um when we got back but uh time has gone on and and now it's it's kind of it feels like it's the new normal so yeah i mean i've been talking to a few actors and and uh, filmmakers and it's it's tough you you have yeah. a lot of responsibility on you because it's not just you it's a whole group of people that you're responsible for exactly making sure that you're everybody's able to work and get those paychecks and you don't want to be the, the reason why not so uh, making sure to stay safe as possible i don't even be going to the grocery store i'm just like you know i'm trying to I, it's it's difficult but it's definitely um, I know that we're all in this together and we've all been struggling. So I'm just thankful to be back at work and being able to provide um, some television show episodes to people because, you know, we're not we're not freaking brain surgeons. We're not doing anything special. We're just trying to entertain people. So um, it's been it's been nice to be able to do that and, and get to flex the creative muscles. And you've been on this show since you were, was it 13 or 14 years old? Yeah, around there. Right. My mom will tell yeah. you the exact age, but I don't remember <laughs> <laughs> and how's it been like for you i mean this is your first gig and it hit big pretty fast i mean how is it pretty much growing up in the spotlight on this show yeah it's been um it's been crazy but before before the show acting was really just like a, a hobby and a passion of mine i really um enjoyed doing it um it was it was just like a fun thing to do and i worked on it for seven years of just trying to audition and working my craft and going to acting classes and having fun doing it and then now here we are and I've been able to turn it into a profession it's been um it's been a blessing and it's been a it's been a lot of fun it's it's been a wild ride over these past seven or eight years that it's been so far um so Blackfish has taught me a lot I've learned a lot from all of the the jobs that I've worked on and, and learned a lot from Lawrence Fishburne you know, Anthony Anderson Tracy everybody on the show so um it's definitely been a wild ride and here we are in 2021 um and yeah it's just it's been crazy I, I can't even like i'm having flashbacks right now thinking about how how long, long we've been working on it it doesn't even seem like it so when i looked up the date uh, of the premiere i was like oh really it. wow it's like, a, it's like a blur it's just all like melds together it's so so quick it's almost oh man it's wild well, I was going to ask you about what you've learned from, I mean, you have such icons like Lawrence Fishburne and Jennifer Lewis and Anthony Anderson yeah. has been doing this for decades. I mean, there's, yeah. he's got tons of shows on the air um, in yeah. the syndication. So what was, what would you say is like the most valuable advice you've gotten from any of them? Um, I think Lawrence Fishburne telling me to diversify and make sure that I'm, I'm changing up what I'm doing in the craft, you know, making sure to always uh, keep them guessing. That was one of the best pieces of advice that's to heart really just been trying to, to to pursue all avenues i just had a film come up come out called farewell of more that was uh a, 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 a an indie project that we got to premiere at sundance that was a lot of fun to be a part of um and just making sure to to you know always choose different routes and avenues i've over this pandemic i've been writing and producing which has been really nice and you know just trying to trying to figure out new ways to approach projects and, and be creative yeah, I was going to say um, a lot of actors have production companies because they know they can't rely on acting forever and you have to have your yeah. your outs, your, you know, your exactly. backup plans. You Got to have the day to day business, you know, the business, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so well, how do you see yourself, uh, say, in like 10 years? I mean, you say you're writing, you're producing and you're writing. How do you see yourself, um, like, say, in a decade? Oh, man, within 10 years, 10 years from now, um, Dang, that's a good question. Hopefully I've done multiple superhero films. Um, 
I get to play uh, Static Shock in that new Michael B. Jordan production. Michael hit me up. But um, yeah, who knows? I, I don't know. I hope to be a, a producer and a director and able to look back at the body of work that I've created and be proud of what I've, what I've done and um, kind of create a, a positive re representation for young Black boys out there who, who want to see themselves reflected on the big screen. So um, yeah, it's kind of what I, I hope to see in 10 years. Well, that's great. Any other uh, characters you're looking, maybe uh, hoping to maybe bring to the screen or playing in the future? Any superhero characters? Characters. Somebody said I should be in the Drake biopic. And I was like, All right, <laughs> I can I can bring Drake to life. Don't worry. Um, just gotta get my <laughs> bars down. I got some pretty fire bars. I uh, don't want to do them right now, but I can, um, I'll, I'll come up for something if somebody cast me for that. Um, trying to think who else i've always been a fan of um static shock was one that i said miles morales is another cool superhero um i don't know that i honestly don't know like i can <laughs> i couldn't touch on the top of my head but there's a lot of characters that would be, be dope and um as an actor i mean do you see how how many more seasons do you see of Blackish? And pretty much you're set for life because if this goes in, if this already in syndication, I mean that's a pretty good deal for a lot of actors, right? <laughs> yeah, we chilling. Um, I, I have no clue, honestly. I I um I I just go where they tell me to go and sign on the dotted line. So um, we'll see. I don't. I mean, whatever whatever the future holds and what whatever ABC has in store for us and and um, and what we want to do. Mm -hmm. And are you still shooting or are you done? Um, we're still shooting right now. Uh, I'm currently on, on winter hiatus, um, which has just been extended by an extra week. So um, we're still shooting. Oh, okay. And do you have anything else in the works? Um, I do. I just had a film that premiered, like I was saying, Farewell and More. I've got some projects that I'm producing with Issa Rae, Color Creative over there. And then um, a book that I'm adapting by Victoria Schwab that I'm really excited about. So um a lot of producing and writing i've been working with one of my writing partners on another um anime x like real life kind of project that i'm really excited for so um yeah it's uh, some cool project that i'm kind of merging my interests into and um getting to explore and, and working behind the camera and behind the scenes to um facilitate so it's been cool learning the business aspect of everything uh normally i'm very on the creative side so um learning the business is what it's all about <laughs> wow working with Issa Rae I mean that must be another she's so great she's so funny yeah, she's I mean so, that must be a learning experience yeah exactly just just getting to work with her production company has been has been a blast and, and trying to figure things out it's, it's been cool and what are you learning as far as like as a writer because she's so witty in her writing I know are you learning new things oh man I feel like I can come up with things off like off the dome but then like putting them down on paper um is is a, is a whole other story and just um i feel like it really one of the things with comedy and even just like writing in general is, is speaking from your own life experiences because who knows those experiences better than you and that's something that i've, mm -hmm. I've definitely learned from working with multiple writers um including Issa Rae and her production company all right well congratulations on all your success you look so much older it's like when you watch reruns and you watch you know the current season it's just like wow they have grown so much it's crazy it really is sometimes reruns pop up on my tv and i'm like god turn it off but yeah <laughs> are you cringing at your at your young self yeah i'm cringing at my young self I was like hey guys what's up? i'm like oh my god <laughs> But now your manly voice came in. Exactly. <laughs> Junior is back. No, I'm joking. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Well, again, congratulations. It's a really Thank funny you. show, and I hope it goes on for a few more seasons or many yes, more well, seasons. Thank you, Lupe.